hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley, and this is a test tech talks video guys so on today's video i'm going to show you how to go ahead and record your first video on your tiktok application um let's dive into that um go ahead and click on the tiktok application and on automatic whenever you load up your tiktok application it starts playing the first video that it says so um even though the video start playing and then you can go ahead and tap on that particular video to go ahead and pause the video so once you have paused the video and you're ready to start working on your tiktok or start creating your own video on tiktok all you need to do is to press this plus icon right there um even though you click on anywhere the plus icon and the menu are always going to be displayed on the bottom so you can notice the plus icon right there you can notice the plus icon right there on this particular menu section on the bottom go ahead and click on that to start recording your video um, it might take a while to do and if this is the first time you are loading this up it's going to ask you this question or uh, authentication or permission question for you to actually allow the tiktok application to record um to receive audio or to record audio or to take photos and picture and be saved into your gallery so you can go ahead and choose any of these three options but quick note guys if you deny this particular option you are not going to be able to make your video so go ahead and choose this first option that says while using the application so you will be able to make use of pictures and photos while making use of the application and the next option i'm going to choose right now is um the same option that says while using the application now quick note guys the first one was for video and the second one was for audio so you go to go ahead and allow it to actually um allow access to those particular feature and this third option is actually going to allow it to be able to save the videos you recorded on your device so go ahead and allow and then it's going to take a while and it will be loaded so right now it has loaded up but it's actually um recording the front of my camera which is probably this area and if i want to record if i wanted to record um probably behind the camera or make use of the back camera all i need to do is to go ahead and choose this option right there it's actually the first option on the top that says flip so go ahead and click on the flip option to choose that particular option it's right on top of that area so when you choose the flip option you can notice right now it's displaying the bottom and it's displaying back of the camera but because actually um the phone is actually um, very close to this um, other phone so it's not going to give me all of this freedom to be able to record the back of the camera because I want you guys to be seeing all of this stuff so I'm going to go ahead and add something else behind the back of the camera and probably I'm going to twist this and twist that and twist that this is actually um, something different and I'm going to start recording and then you can notice on the bottom area it has a timer of your recording and it has like um, um, the first option is 15 seconds the second option is 60 seconds and then the last option is three minutes so depending on how long you want your video to last you can go ahead and select any of the option that best suits the video you are trying to create but for some reason I think um, 16 seconds 15 seconds will be enough so I'm going to click on start recording. So I'm going to be recording um, this move and then uh, this stuff right there in behind. And also um, while it's recording, you can notice on this top section right there, actually that is the timeline of our recording. And if for some reason you can go ahead and pause and play, I'm going to go ahead and reduce it. I'm actually reducing the volume of this um, phone so it actually done recording right now what it just recorded was um this stuff that i had behind of the camera so it went ahead to record all of those things and now i will be able to go ahead and edit some things and you can notice there are some options right there i can go ahead and click on this particular filter area to go ahead and select the filter now you notice below this area the filter is being displayed so i can go ahead and tweak and select any filter that i want and whenever i select the filter you notice the video will change but most times it can take a while before it updates because this filter will have to be downloaded to the application before be able to reflect to the video so go ahead and switch to play around it look for um a um look for a an appropriate filter that you think matches your video look for that and then go ahead and click on it to download once you click on it you can go ahead and download it and the filter will be affected and will be reflected to your video and if you are done making changes to your filter go ahead and click on ok and if for some reason you want to change your filter it's as simple as um, clicking on this area and selecting normal 
once you choose normal you notice the filter is now normal but if i choose any filter you notice it has automatically changed the video effect but i can go ahead and say normal to leave it to normal then apart from the filter there are still other options right there you can notice where it says adjust clip right when you click on the adjust clip you can go ahead and edit a particular section of the clip probably you want the video to start from this area and then end to this area and then all of these other one are going to be cut out so if you want that particular option you you have to go ahead and choose save right there you notice there is a save option um displaying on that, that area so you can go ahead and click on the save option right there that is displaying on top so i'm going to go ahead and hit on that and it will be saved now the previous section or the previous clip have been cut out of the video now after i've rendered the video you will notice the video is now going to be shot up and then you can you can notice another option that says um voice changer right you can click on that particular voice changer to actually change the original voice of this particular video and um for that case i'm going to increase the volume now you notice under this area there are different voices um the first one is actually um chroma the other one is actually beton and then the other one is mic and then the other one is megaphone and then the last one is robot and then there are so some even more options you can go ahead and swipe left to see even more option but i'm going to go ahead and test out two filters right there two voice filter i just chose the first one now let me increase the volume now you notice how it plays now let's go ahead and choose a robot it's still downloading just wait for it it's taking a while to download you can notice it's still like loading right there All right, it has finished loading. Now you can listen to the voice. I hope you can hear the voice properly. So that is the robot voice. And if you do not want to make use of any of these, you can go ahead and select none and you can listen to the normal voice. So you hear the normal voice right now. So if there are some reason you want a different voice, go ahead and swipe left and download any voice you want. And if you are okay with that, go ahead and save your video. But I'm not okay with that and I'm going to leave the voice to original. And once you're done, all you need to do is to go ahead and click on next right there and wait for it to load up. Now it has loaded up, go ahead and give your video a title. And then I'm going to say... So I just wrote another test video, um, actually another test video, why? So you can go ahead and add a hashtag, I'm going to say video. Now there are actually so many hashtags you can notice it will give you options of hashtag but I just want to use this one but if you want your video to go viral make sure you use a hashtag that is up to four or eight at most go ahead and select and then add your hashtag but I'm okay with this so I'm going to click outside if you also want to tag people on your video just go ahead and click on the ads and then um, search any proper name I'm going to say um, tech tech and you can notice some names display you can go ahead and add anybody or any tech and then go ahead and click on post and it will be posted so all right guys so that is that is all i want to show you guys on today's video but it's going to take a while for this video to upload and once it uploads, it's going to be displayed right there you notice the video